Okay, so I know that there's gonna be a lot of editing on, on this video uh, because I have so many albums to discuss to today. We're talking about good albums of 2018. Um, like 35 albums on this list, you know. Uh, people usually call this video honorable mentions, you know, these are the albums uh, which are on division two of mine, you know, like uh, it's not the upper echelon, you know, but there's still good albums and they're worth, you know, talking about. So look, <laughs> as I said, a lot of editing is still required for this video. It's 8, 8, 53 p.m. It's December freaking 26th already. It's like five days till uh, New Year. I want to be done by like December 30th. And freaking, I still need to do three videos, you know? <laughs> what have I been? Like, what I have been doing, you know? <laughs> ah, damn it. But like, hey, let's rush it. Let's let's do it. I'm ready without even freaking thinking. Just improvise. Album 35, Shremmered 3 by Ray. Wait, was it Shremmered 3 actually? Hold on. <laughs> well, we can call it Shremmered 3, but it's actually the SR3MM. Uh, basically, triple album. Uh, the you know since it had like three albums in one pretty much so many songs over there it of course hurted the content like there there were a lot of good songs but there were actually a lot of i mean not a lot of but like some bad songs on it too so it's like hurt the content and um yeah uh if they were stuck with 10 12 tracks would be fine but i get it like they were like they literally uploaded their solo albums and their together album as one album so it just didn't it just didn't really work out uh, that much but uh still some good songs from there for sure album 34 sophie uh uh fuck what was the name of the oil uh <laughs> that's why i should be more prepared <laughs> oil of every pearls on insights okay that's a long name that's why i just didn't remember i'm sorry but um i've given it a um, couple of listens didn't listen to it that much to be honest, uh, but I just wanted to give a shout out because the production is still outstanding. It's just not really um, cup of my tea, even though I like songs uh, in similar vibe, you know, sometimes. But um, it just this project was not really for me. It didn't stick with me. But you know, I of course see the appeal, and uh, you know, it, a lot of people were praising this album. If it's your thing, definitely keep listening. And actually, uh, you ha if you haven't heard this album give it a try it's actually you know really very very odd interesting experience like <laughs> for sure you will get out of this album album number 33 we have cosmic by bazzy not much to say uh, pretty good con pretty good content pretty good content it's just uh it also didn't really stick with me by the way this section actually from 35 to uh i would say 20 35 to 25 pretty much i would say is the albums um i didn't really listen to that much but you know i would give i want to give them a shout out because you know these are uh, high quality albums and uh, people praise these albums and i see the appeal it just it didn't really stuck with me you know like so uh, 34 was sophie 33 is cosmic by bazzi uh 32 is love or love uh a playlist um the i when i met uh you at 18 uh, sort of um that name <laughs> um there are good songs uh, the first one of course is um i like you bad because of you or something like that <laughs> hold on i'm messing i'm messing all everything up <laughs> hold on. oh i like me better yeah the track was named i like me better that's a good song uh it came out last year i didn't listen to it at that time actually that's why uh it was not in my best list of 2017 but this is definitely a dope song uh paris in the rain there you go uh other uh, other good song and the other uh, and Paranoid actually was also a good song and you know like there are some of course good material Love Delivered he, his style his um, sonic experience is very different it's very um, minimal he's like a minimalist in music but um, it works for him for sure uh, Star is Born uh, album number 31st it's uh, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper pretty much um, together on the soundtrack the reason I'm only putting it at like 31st um, you know, it might have been maybe like one of my best albums uh, in, in the in the list of best albums, maybe. But the thing is, I had just didn't watch the movie, and that's why I don't really like dig it. You know, if I if I was inspired by it, if I watched the movie, 
and damn like i've heard the songs and like i've heard the like in the in the action you know the, those songs maybe i would have loved them and for example my dad who watched the movie he downloaded like i, I would say at least 10 songs out of this album like he downloads from apple um itunes store and like listens to it um you know and this album is one of the best one of the biggest albums uh, in sales actually so uh people loved it it's just i haven't watched the movie uh i'm not really big on movies to be honest so that's why um yeah man like uh, just as a separate album as a piece of word like just as a song itself they're cool uh of course shallow is a great song um and lady gaga's other song ah uh, it was also popular it's also a cool song but it's just like not really it didn't really stick with me like to to go back to listen to it again and again uh album 30 um we have postmodern depression ep by marky basie i give it a positive review because it's actually good piece of work but um you know again as i said didn't really stick with me like all this th from 35 to 25 are the albums i didn't listen to much but they're still good albums as i said uh and al album number 29 we have florence and the machine uh highest hope this is really a critically acclaimed body of work um i love florence i think her uh, voice is amazing i think um you know her performances are great but like i love her the most in the features to be honest when it comes to like her own songs uh i don't know like i i dig i dig this music but i don't come back to it and listen to it uh, all that much you know I, I don't know why it's just maybe not my style but like i really appreciate her work it's just i guess not my my thing uh same goes to panic at the disco um pray for the wicked album number 20 28 uh, number 27, Everything is Love by Beyonce and Jay-Z. Um, yeah, <laughs> there are some good songs, Ape Shit. Um, it, it will make my uh, best list of songs. Uh, I have like 100 songs on there, <laughs> just bear with me. But uh, Ape Shit is a great song, for example. Uh, and the track 4 was actually dope as fuck, too. Uh, <laughs> album 26, we have Question Mark by XXXTentacion. Um, yeah, I, I love, I love, um, I wouldn't say I love the album, but I, I like the album, it's pretty good. Again, no much triple value for me, uh, that's why it's here, but it's a great work, uh, for sure. There are some good songs, Sad is a great song, for example, for sure, Moonlight, good song too. Uh, track number 8, I forgot the name, with Joy Badass, is a good song too. Um, we have album number 25, Beer Bonks and Bentleys by Post Malone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> uh, sorry, <laughs> but it's just Post Malone. Since he came out, I don't know, like, what, what is it? I know and I understand the appeal, but it's just I haven't fucked with his music for some reason. Like, other people love him so much. I just, I know, man, like, I don't know why, but it's like i cannot get into it for some reason there songs like um better now it's a hit it's a major mwah, successful mwah, hit like it's, i love i love that song it's a great song um you know there are of course rock star you know the songs like that they're good it's just mm, i still like don't go back to it and listen to it like um this this the his style like the raw style of like sort of the, this singer songwriter approach it, like his particular like he's this is his only sonic experience you know like he can only do these things uh, post Malone has a unique sound and i just don't really stick with it i i don't know why I, I, it's just i don't know <laughs> uh hopefully it will grow on me though because there are some songs um I still like with post Malone, as i said and uh the feature on 21 savage actually that was a great song I liked it. It reminded me of, congrat uh, of Congratulations, uh, the song Congratulations, it reminded me of that, but um, I didn't like Congratulations at all, I hated it, but this song I actually did get a lot with 21 Savage, because it was with 21 Savage. <laughs> I love 21 Savage, you know? Uh, album 24, we have uh, Leon Bridges, good thing. Um, I actually love Leon Bridges. He's a great artist. It's just the thing, let me see the time, oh shit. Okay, uh, Leon Bridges, good thing. Uh, artist is great. His voice is fantastic, amazing. Good thing is a good album too. It's just I didn't have enough time to listen to. Actually, I, I came up really late 
for this album um like in december pretty much in december like in the midst of december i started listening to it so that's why it's here only i didn't have much time to be honest uh, unfortunately but it probably would have landed much higher uh if i listened to it when it came out um uh, album 23 casey musgraves golden hour uh this album is really dope same issue though with uh, like with leon bridges i only started to listen to this album when uh it was nominated for grammys i didn't i didn't know this album existed before <laughs> uh, that but it's a really good album and it's labeled as country but uh as a as a person who don't really listen to country who appreciates country like who loves johnny cash for example or, or there are good songs by other artists in country uh, chris stapleton for example but uh, as a person who don't really listen to country uh this album was great to listen to so definitely check it out uh it's labeled this country as i said but it's not really country there's like pop fusion into it it's really sweet album you should dig it you should check it out um album 22 we have love yourself tear by bts um there are a lot of uh fans you know of bts in the world and uh, a lot of my subscribers actually came from um me doing bts reaction videos and um you know, I appreciate the work, and again, um, it, it's not really on the spot of 35 till 25, it's already 22, you know, so I gave it um, more listens, actually. Uh, so, that's good, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I like this album, um, not, like, didn't really come back to it that much, but there was a time, at least, there was a time, where I was actually uh, coming back to these songs, I was listening to it, DNA is a, a beautiful hit song, it's a great song, and, you know, uh, good project. I had fun with my sister actually listening to it because my my sister was digging BTS um, in summer. Album 21st, we have Mac Miller, Swimming. This album, um, I gave it uh, a lot of listens. I actually give it, I tried to like this album. <sighs> yeah, I, there are good songs. Um, I love track number one, two, three. <laughs> um, but other, other, songs you know like the the whole approach like this again as love um mac miller has on this album very simple like minimalistic approach to his um uh, writing and his uh, songs i personally um it, it was boring for me i like i will be honest uh respect to mac miller um rest in peace i just i, I don't know i couldn't dig it honestly sonically it just didn't please me uh album 20 we have Staying at Tomorrow's by George Ezra. This album is uh, was very huge uh, in the United Kingdom. And uh, George Ezra is an incredible artist. I really dig him. I really love him. Uh, his album, uh, I think, uh, Wanted on Voyage, something like that it was called. I forgot, back from uh, 2015. Uh, that album was great. Um, Budapest is fucking like one of, <laughs> one of the best songs that came out this decade probably <laughs> like it's a great song budapest and uh barcelona and um uh i forgot the other hit's name um but you know from this album um also there are some good songs um i wasn't really coming back to it that much but it's a good listen it's a very good listen i love george ezra's style i love his voice uh his charisma his personality like he's awesome he's a he's a he's a incredible uh beautiful uh, handsome young man actually i'm not a homo but i can see through that too <laughs> so like, like you know uh ladies definitely um if you want to you know check yourself uh check ch check out a new guy you know uh, to admire like george ezra george ezra for sure <laughs> number 19 we have uh, milky way uh by bass uh that's a that's an incredible actually good album uh, i really dig this album really love this album um the problem with me is that why it's like kind of low like it's like in, in place on number 19 is because again um didn't have enough time to listen to it that much that's all but the project is great project is great number 18 we have test testing by asap rocky i reviewed this album um good album but um, not every track is amazing, unfortunately, on this, and um, that's why it's here. Uh, two songs from here actually will land on my best songs of the year. We we're talking about ASAP Forever and Praise the Lord with Skepta. Uh, there are other good tracks like Fuck Sleep, 
uh, Tony Tone, but as a whole, um, I didn't really love the album, unfortunately. Album number 17, we have Lil Wayne, The Carter Five. Some people, some people might have this album in as one of the, their best, and I completely would understand that because like there's like literally 25 songs around 25 songs, and every freaking song is a is a dope song. Like it actually it's great. It's just again the, the reason why I'm giving honorable mention. I just didn't not have. Uh, enough time to listen to it. I didn't spend enough time like uh, listening to this. Um, I had started to listen to it when it came out actually because I was really interesting uh, interested how Lil Wayne would approach his new album. It's been a long time since the last uh, Lil Wayne album, but um, you know there are great features as well, and I was really impressed by him. It's just I don't know why. Like I I just didn't come back to it. I don't know why, but like yeah, um, the Car Five. Number 17. Number 16, we have J Balvin's uh, album, Vibras. Vibras is a dope album. Uh, there are some hits, 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 you know, like hits, 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 <laughs> like Hardy B was showing on the Instagram. Hits, hits, hits. I make hits, 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 and I'm looking for you, bitch. <laughs> like, she makes hits, but J Balvin makes hits too, you know, so J Balvin, Vibras, dope album. Uh, number uh, like this, I, I would say from twenty, from twenty to um, ten, I guess. Yeah, like these are good albums. I just didn't have, I didn't spend much time on them. You know, um, album fifteen we have one point five by Amine. Uh, great songs. There are some great songs as a whole project. Maybe not so great for me, but songs like Shine and uh, freaking Reloading. I got the news. <laughs> like it's a, it's a good song. It's it's like those tracks are gonna be in my best list for sure. Uh, like really fun to listen to. And this album is is pretty lit. You should check it out. Um, number fourteen, we have Queen by Nicki Minaj. Uh, Nicki Minaj fans, don't be sad. You know, I just uh, I as I said, good album, but I didn't have. I mean, not didn't have, but like I didn't come back to it for some reason. Uh, if you know Sam, by the way, like if my friend who appears on this channel um, quite often, he, with we, we were talking about it actually, like with Queen, like when it came out, we were praising Nicki Minaj a lot because like she did she did her thing on this project. But then for some reason, like we didn't have repeat value on this project for some reason. Like we we started talking about it like one month later. Like, have you, how much have you listened to Queen? I asked him, it was like, maybe like once after the fact I praised, we praised it together, like, I don't know what happened, but it's just, it's just the way it is. Um, album 13, Waste Notes by Charlie Puth. Uh, Charlie Puth, I praised him a lot uh, before, um, still great artist, yeah, um, just, again, didn't have uh repeat, much repeat value i didn't come back to this album a lot but this is a good album this is for sure a good album never underestimate Charlie Puth because Charlie Puth is a fucking legend <laughs> at this point like he has some great songs all right <laughs> like if you haven't listened to this please check it out um album 12 we have kts K oh, i'm sorry ktse uh i forgot the like what's the full name unfortunately but um by tiana taylor it's a it's a solid R and B album, but it's not a uh, standout in R and B music because um, other people have done it before, um, and like pretty much K T S E follows the formula of the of the songs that worked before in R and B. Uh, it's a good listen. It's a good listen, but um, again, as I said, I wasn't really coming back to it that much. But if you're into some good R&B, like uh, if you listen to Alicia Keys or her or artists like that, uh, definitely give it a try. Give it a try. Uh, uh, album 11, Confidence Man. Uh, I'm sorry, the album is called Music for Confident People <laughs> by Confidence Man. This is a freaking interesting, so uh, it's really like it's uh, electronic album. You know, like you will dance to it. It's really a fun listen. I would really recommend it to listen, check, check, yeah, to check it out. Um, it's a dope album. I actually love it. Um, I actually kind of regret that it's not in on the best albums of 2018 because it deserve deserves to be there. But there were so many great albums <laughs> this year, 
but the, in 2018 that confidence man um only landed on album, uh, number 11 unfortunately of this list um number 10 we have nasir by nas um i actually um really praise this album a lot and uh, nas worked with kanye west you know i love kanye west one of my favorite artists and uh, this album definitely delivered uh, i actually also getting two tracks out of this project uh, to my best um songs of the year it's a dope project it's a dope project well by the way we're on the number like where are you at top 10 that's good how much 21 minutes oh shit. all right uh top 10 nasir at number 10 at number nine we have room 25 by no name no name gypsy great album great album great album great album like definitely pre uh check it out this is actually like Nicki Minaj is not the only one artist in rap, okay? Like, no name, no, no name, get it, okay? <laughs> no name got this too. You <laughs> know the rap game. We have Cardi B, we have Nicki Minaj, we have um, No Name Gypsy, we have uh, I forget the other people. I'm sorry, but there are female rappers, okay? Like, please don't underestimate them. Um, all right, so Young Sinatra Four by Logic, album eight. Um, Logic, he dropped Bobby Tarantino 2 this year as well, and uh, that's a better listen for me, that's a better album for me. For now, I'm putting um, Young Sinatra 4, uh, Logic's work, on number 8 of good albums of 2018. Um, good album, but you know, I already have one album, one project by Logic on my best albums of 2018, <laughs> so you know, Young Sinatra 4 was a little bit worse for me. Uh, but it's still good to listen. Uh, album 7. We have 7 by David Guetta. <laughs> David Guetta, one of my favorite DJs, uh, along with Kelly Harris. And, um, you know, bro, like, David Guetta delivered again. Great songs, great material, definitely. And the, the second side, of, the second disc of the album is also great by, uh, like, he has um, Elias, I think it's called. Um, Jack back and it's it's dope like I really love that side too the trance music the house deep house music deep house shit like it is good and the the first side was also uh, full of hits it was a great uh, listen uh, album six we have black eyed peace <laughs> masters of the sun this is freaking dope project I would definitely recommend if you forgot about black eyed peace you know, I mean, uh, you have right to do so because they haven't dropped any music, well, any album, okay, in eight years. So last album was 2010 when they were at their prime, like they were having hits, 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 you know, like the, they were so big at that time in the thousands. Um, now, you know, like, of course, you no, know, not much attention on Black Eyed Peas, but this project is like they're coming back to their roots. They're coming back to the hip hop uh, style, style. If you dig Black Eyed Peas, uh, please give it a listen. Give it a listen. Uh, if you didn't know that Black Eyed Peas dropped an album, now you know. Now definitely go and check it out. Okay, like this is worth listening. Uh, album five we have FM by Vince Staples. This is a freaking dope album. I wanted to actually put it in my best albums 2018 too. I didn't have enough slots on best albums of 2018. And by the way, uh, best albums of 2018, like there's not, uh, you know, there's not only like 10 albums, there's 30 albums still. Like there's so many albums this year came out, good albums, you know, I give it, I, I wanted to give a shout out to pretty much all of the material I have listened to this year. Uh, but bro, like FM, great rap album like definitely check it out um good concept by the way by Vince staples like as well very interesting he uh, gives back to us the fm like he actually it feels like you're listening to the radio it's really interesting uh album four we have culture two by amigos um uh, you know there will be people who will be uh putting this in their worst albums of 2018 and you have a right to do so but a person i really loved uh, this project is for the simple fact that yes, there are like a lot of uh, you know an interesting 
material on it because there are literally 24 songs on this album but like i got what i liked from this album it's like 12 13 tracks and added to my playlist i was listening to uh those 13 tracks i believe so um on in my playlist and it was it was a really fun experience i really enjoyed this album to be honest well if you remove the trash <laughs> all right album three we have kod by j cole uh, also, another contender to be on past album 2019, but didn't make it uh, for the simple fact that, again, not enough time I spent on this album, and didn't have much repeat value. Some songs are great from this project, but not like I. In order to make it to the best albums, like I should be uh, amazed. Not well, I should love the whole project, you know. And this like. There are some okay songs, there are just like, I just skip to, I, I just skip, there are some good songs, so it's like, uh, I really love J. Cole, but like, for me, um, this album really di didn't really deliver it, as his two previous projects, like, um, this and this, basically. <laughs> Alright, I forgot the names, I'm sorry, <laughs> right now, uh, number two in the list, we have Scorpion by Drake, alright, um, this album is um is a really disappointing for me like it's really disappointing for me to put drake in honorable mentions instead of best albums but to be honest like for me at least scorpion is the worst project uh, by drake like he ever released um i'm not i'm not being harsh it's just it's just the way it is like the beats are simplistic as fuck uh very uninteresting like it's always the same um, and like I mean throughout the song not like <laughs> it has only one beat in 25 songs no it's just like very basic very basic and he's just like sounds uninspired you know, he's just singing I mean like he I mean he, he does what he does uh, and he does it well um, you know like he sings his singing is pretty nice although some people are saying it's not for me it's still nice it's just this songs typically were not as good as his in his previous albums you know there were some uh hits that are great songs from scorpion of course we don't we're talking about don't matter to me with michael jackson we're talking about in my feelings uh freaking god's plan we're talking about nice for what but overall as a whole album plus it has 25 songs in it and like I enjoyed Cutler 2 more than Scorpion, you know, <laughs> like, like this should tell you something about this project, all right? Um, all right, the reason why I'm placing it above Cutler 2 because, you know, Scorp Scorpion did have a uh, multi-platinum, like, I believe four or five big, big, good tracks, and I just literally love them, and um, so, yeah. And a, a number one spot number one spot it's actually like you i wanted to give it i mean i want to give this to a female um who doesn't have much recognition um and but i love her music and she definitely deserves to have more followers because her voice is incredible um her songs are dope too her album this album uh bad together by rosie delivered i really love this project um, there are like three tracks that easily can make uh, my best albums, uh, my best songs of thousand. Sorry, somebody tried to invade my room, enter this room, but no, <laughs> I should finish the video first. Three songs that can easily be on my best songs of 2018. Uh, two of them will be for sure though. Uh, only 100 tracks, you know, their space is limited, so the third one couldn't make it, but still, two tracks are, uh, from there will be. Uh, I'm talking about Joshua Tree and um, Never Over You and the third track Bad Together the title the self-titled track and also there is a track uh, Lose Us with, with Scott Ho with Scott Hoing of Pentatonix basically it's also a great freaking track uh, the whole project is really nice to listen to track uh, the number one Visions it's also great you know like ah, I, I can praise this goddamn project for a long time you know you just definitely check her out this is a very simple uh, you know singer songwriter uh, album it's just a female who has an incredible voice who sings over uh, you know 
love issues like uh, I mean of course <laughs> people love to sing about love you know so and this is another project of, uh, about love but it has it has a really nice um, sound uh, sonical experience her voice is incredible again as I said it lyrics are dope too actually they're pretty relatable um, and yeah nothing else to say it's very simple it's very simple but it, it hit but it hits home you know it, it very it's very nicely done I'll just finish at that thank you so much for watching this video Rosie mwah, if you I don't know how but if you are if you will ever find this video uh, kudos to you Rosie is an incredible uh, artist and um, I just wanted to give a shout out to her because she she deserves to be at uh, number one at something you know like in the music like I'd never seen anyone talking about her you know like she should be here all right at number one bad together definitely check it out good out and let me know in the comments if you uh, if you will check it out and like uh, let me know your thoughts on Rosie what do you think of her uh, I would love to hear from you about that um Give your other thoughts, for example, Post Malone, Nicki Minaj, Drake, you know, there are good good albums here, um, big names, uh, and you can criticize me all you want, if you want, that why it didn't land on the best albums of 2018, for example, alright? Uh, hit the like button if you like this video, the best albums of 2018 is still coming, the best songs of 2018 is still coming, those are two major videos, pretty much, uh, I'm ready to drop them. Let's fucking do it. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas for you guys again, although it's already passed. But hopefully you had a nice Christmas and um, Happy New Year. Alright, goodbye.